What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte reacts here, man back with some more black sales reactions Episode 5 of season 2 um, Not sure I still haven't checked to see how many episodes is in the season it might still be eight. I'm not sure um, Let me check really quick, but in any case right Regardless of how many episodes is in this season, right, I'm still ready for what it entails, you know, um, what is going to happen, seems like Flint has ordered the decimation, <laughs> you know, of, um, okay, so he's ordered the decimation to take out the fort. Um, do I agree with him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I agree with... Uh, I think he should have taken the approach that... You know, Mr. Scott has always given really good advice. But then, you know, he's like... He, I don't know, man. It, 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 the situation is, is to the point where, you know... The way how Vane took the fort versus, you know, it, you know, leaving the island vulnerable if they attack, you know, and then also Flint just doesn't like Vane. He just doesn't like the dude because he just, you know, he could just at the, at one moment you could you and him can be friends, and the other minute he's stabbing you in the back, and that and that's the thing about him. He's the type of person that. You know what I'm saying? You want to root for, as you said, he's one of my favorite characters in the show. But at the same time, it's just like he does things and, and you're like, why, dude? You know what I'm saying? It, you know, at one point, you're, you're like, man, he was a slave, blah, blah, blah. He got out of that situation. And now he's not a better person. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, would, you want him to be a better person. Now, by no means is Flint... You know what I'm saying? A poster child or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's... Um, but at least with Flint, you can tell what he's going to do. He stays true to his character. There's no flip side to what you think he would do. You know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes his decisions are a toss-up. Don't get me wrong. But when he makes a decision, he's like, yeah... <laughs> I, that's what he would do you know what i'm saying so um so there's no wishy-washy with his character with vain he's a lot more wishy-washy with his decision is just like why did you make that decision is it because of you know is it because of eleanor is it because of you yourself like it's very confusing why he makes decisions so his character is a little bit out there you know what i mean so in any case guys it seems like there's 10 episodes for this season. Um, so now that I've checked, I know that there's 10 episodes. So it's not just um, 8 like last season. But anyways, we're going to get through them. In any ways, I'm going to try to do at least 2 in this session that I'm sitting down here. Depending on how the, the, the episodes go, I might do more and release them on early access. Um, but it is what it is. Let's see how it goes. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so episode five of Black Sail season two. That was one of those episodes that like the wow factor was like, talk about unexpected. I did not expect them to go that route, but it was surprising, but I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Like, if you're going to write, and this is the thing about, you know, I'm going to say this, and you can take it for, for, for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have no problem with, you know, watching a show where there's, you know, where, where, whether they are lesbian or, or gay, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have no problem with doing that. If it's when it's forced, that's when I have a problem with it. 
See, it makes sense in the context of the show, them revealing this, it makes sense. There was a buildup from episode one, from them going back in the past to explain what happened, how, you know, I'm saying how he lost his post in London and all of this other stuff. It makes sense. Now, when it is forced in shows, I will lash out at it because I hate the fact of pushing agendas. You, you, I, I hate it. Let things happen naturally in a show where you can understand. Like, there was no inkling of them saying that Flint was gay or anything like that. There was no indication of that. There was none. No indication of that. But it made sense story-wise when they revealed it. You get what I'm saying? It made sense. So I have zero issues with it. Um, you know, um, and in certain shows, I don't know if I've ever talked about, like, I think in Walking Dead, I talked about agenda, agenda pushing when it came out to that character that was in our later seasons and stuff that I don't remember the name of the character, but, um, I talked about it and somebody came at me about it and saying, it seems like you're the one pushing an agenda. And I'm like, how am I pushing an agenda? I'm talking about it because I don't like anyone getting roles just because they are you get what i'm trying to say like i don't want people to be getting roles just because they're black i don't want people to be getting roles just because they're white i don't want people to be getting roles just because they're gay i don't want people to get in roles just because they are whatever it is it is not a good thing people should get jobs based on on their ability to do the job that's what you get a job for it's not about how you look it's not about what you represent it's not about any of those things and i've and i've talked about this on a level where you know what i'm saying i've always hated this i hate biasness and this goes for religion also listen i did i i was accepted for a full scholarship to go to college and, and, and double major in music and computer science at a college. And I was denied that scholarship because I wasn't at that. I did not represent that sect of Christianity. I was denied. I was denied the full scholarship. They didn't even say, let me give him part of it. No, you're not getting any of it because you're not this sect of christianity and and from that moment i've realized that this world is is just something else like that's just ridiculous my ability to learn has nothing to do with who i i i acknowledge as god what does that have to do with anything why do i you, you, you get what i'm trying to say and you know when it, when it comes on to things like affirmative action and, and, and stuff like that, that's why people lash out at that stuff so much. Because these things shouldn't have been in place in the first place. All these laws have to be passed for, for you to have an opportunity. It shouldn't have been where women are not allowed to vote. That's absolutely ridiculous. But that's the world we live in. That's the world we live in. That should have never happened. It shouldn't that a law had to be passed so black people can use the same um, toilet or bathroom as white people. Like that's that's ridiculous. When you when you look at it, it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. That those stuff had to be uh, have to be in place. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. But. As I said before, I like to talk about subjects like this because I know some people are going to be like, how is he going to react when he, <laughs> when he realizes that Flint is gay? And I'm like, because, you know, maybe of my past videos and stuff like that, because and, 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 you know, people has been on this channel, hear me talking and say, oh, you're just homophobic, you're homophobic, dude. I was like, um, to be honest, I do not enjoy watching two dudes kiss. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't enjoy that. I don't look at that and be like, mm, I'd like to try that. 
no <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's me i'm not attracted to dudes so i'm not going to to um enjoy seeing that you get what i'm saying and i should you should be okay with the fact that i have a preference you should be okay with the fact that you're able to choose you're okay you know what i'm saying like i'm not the type who's gonna see two dudes kiss on screen and be like you go dude <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm not that guy but you know what i'm saying but as i said if it's forced i'm gonna trash it if it's good storytelling i'm fine with it you know what i'm saying um and i have no problem with if if it's if it's a it's if it's a movie or tv show about you know what i'm saying gay stuff i'm not gonna sit down and watch it because i know what it's going to entail this is not entirely about you know that sort of stuff you know what i'm saying it's not about just gay stuff i know this video is probably gonna get demonetized because i'm saying gay so many times but i don't care so when it comes on to that stuff i don't have no issues with it it's just that if i know it's going to be like a movie like Brokeback mountain i'm not going to sit down and watch that movie because i know what it's about you get what i'm saying it could be great storytelling but it's all about a gay relationship black sales is not all about that so introducing the fact that flint is gay not a big deal you get what i'm saying it's not a big deal but according to the story it's an it's a a, a great deal according to story and you yes there is a difference <laughs> you get what i'm saying so um so when it comes on to you know, um, at the end there, we got Flint and Vane going at it. Um, as I said, I don't see Vane winning this fight. I think he's probably going to get broken up before any any of them gets hurt. Or not get hurt, but get killed. I think that's what's going to happen. Because there's no way that nobody's not going to hear all that ruckus going on up there. It's like, he was up there by himself. What was going on? You know, um so yeah man billy has been released by mr silver um he has the perfect name to silver because he just can talk himself out of everything with his silver tongue so um i can bet money i can bet money that that's what the the writers were thinking or the writers of this show i can bet money that that's what they were thinking let's name this guy because he can talk his way out of everything let's give him the name mr silver um when it comes on to what else what else happened in this episode i think mrs barlow did a very good job of talking to flint and it makes me understand him a lot more because i think she didn't want to divulge that secret you know at any point and i think that's where you know what I'm saying? She's been holding on to this because it's like, y'all don't even know this dude. Yeah, she kept saying y'all don't know him. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else knows about this because it's a secret. Nobody knows that he's, you know what I'm saying? Nobody knows. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, I don't know if it's looked down upon maybe in, in, in the pirate community or whatever like they you know what i'm saying they wouldn't go for that or they wouldn't follow a dude that's gay it, it's a possibility because i mean we're talking about like way back in those days you know what i'm saying it's a possibility that a crew would not follow a gay dude you know what i'm saying so um so you know it's a secret you know that she had to keep and it's like the acceptance isn't there that he's doing this for th for thomas um so i have to give them definitely a round of applause for not forcing it because it it could they they revealed it at the right moment and the way how they revealed it there's no way you can have a problem with with according to how the story was going if you had a problem with it then you're probably definitely ho homophobic because you just hate people <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it was well done it was well done appreciate you guys man 
for tuning in as always that is all i have to say about this episode i know i went on a rant talking about certain things but when certain things like that happen in any show that i watch i usually talk about it because for the most part a lot of people is going to look at it and say you know what i'm saying it's a gender pushing because anytime you see something like that you know most of the time these days when you see that even though this is kind of like you know uh you know this doesn't come out you know 2020 or anything like that but usually when you see stuff like that it's very forced it's like it's like more representation more representation so that's why i like to talk about it when it's done well and give them credit for doing it well and not make it the agenda for the show you get what i'm saying like when you make it the agenda for the show you get what i'm saying at least i know it's about that so i can make a conscious choice not to watch you get what i'm trying to say if that's not something i enjoy watching you get what i'm saying but when it's being forced you know what i'm saying when it's done properly and when it's done good it's all good man it's all good but in any case guys hope you guys enjoy the commentary um this was an this one was one of the best episodes of the series to be honest one of the best episodes we had some reveals um you know especially like i told you guys that i'm so much more interested in flint's backstory of them doing the flashbacks than i am of what's going on in 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 actually real time and the, the conversation that happened with like eleanor and her dad that man is is he's a class a asshole bro like he's s tier deadbeat dad you know what i'm saying like how can you possibly be trying to make an excuse for leaving your daughter there's no excuse you should just say i'm sorry what are you talking about you were i tried to drown myself in business because i lost your mom and whatever you left your daughter <laughs> your little girl you left her what kind of words else do you have to say that i'm sorry and 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 this is the thing when people try to justify why they do things when you already have the presence of mind to know that what you did was wrong that is a problem that is a problem you do not try to justify what you did when you know when you yourself know that it was wrong you don't try to justify why you did what you did it was all it's wrong so all you need to say is sincerely i'm sorry i did that i admit i did it blah blah, blah. i'm sorry you know and you don't follow up i'm sorry with can we move on <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that means there's no remorse right um so that scene was pretty well done i wonder if she's gonna go with what you know what he says you know she he was trying to you know boost her up you know gaslight her you know what i'm saying so she get off the topic whatever but i still don't trust him i still don't trust him i don't think she should trust him either the situation that's going on with jack he needs to calm his ass down okay if he goes after the orca his whole crew is going to die i promise you they are all going to die and i don't want to see him get killed i don't want to see Anne get killed um Anne is pissed off because you know he's choosing Anne. he's choosing max over Anne, which i agree that you know what i'm saying no matter how you try to to sugarcoat that for her there's no way anybody in their right mind is going to agree with what you're saying and just be okay i guess <laughs> you know what i'm saying of course you're gonna be gonna be mad and enraged about it because because of what's happening you know what i'm saying like we've been we we've been boys we've been friends we've been lovers for all this time and you're trying to tell me that you can't take you can't take a hit for me you know what i'm saying it's like you're throwing this away because it doesn't make sense because it makes sense it's like oh they're gonna you know you know uh, whatever you were saying about solidifying relationship and with the men and all this other stuff so you're gonna throw me to the side because they have a problem with me you know what i'm saying and and as far and then with the incident that happened at the beginning of the episode she's not going to be down with any of that with any of it 
you know what I'm saying? So that's all I have to say. I don't want to go any longer because I've been talking for 15 minutes. But I love when it's done right, man. I like when it's done right. It's not a big deal. As I said, I, I, I'm not one to tell you, oh, I enjoy seeing two men kissing on screen. I don't like seeing it. I don't like seeing it in public. It happens all the time. You know, I live in Miami and I, it happens all the time and it cringes me. And it's not because, you know, they're gay. It's because that's not something I enjoy. I'm not attracted to that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's bad or it's disgusting. I'm saying for me, I don't want, I don't like seeing that. You get what I'm saying? Um, but it's all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all have preferences, but if anytime you say that, people is like, oh, you're homophobic. No, I'm not, man. <laughs> like, I, I tell people all the time, people can do whatever they want to do. It's their life. At the end of the day, you know, regardless of, you know, who they answer to or whatever the situation is, that's what they choose to do. I can't hate on that. I can't hate on that. That's what they choose to do. I can't hate them as people. That's what they choose to do at the end of the day. So, yeah, I always got to say this because... I know somebody's going to say something. I know. And if they don't say anything, if they don't say anything, it's probably going to be later on the line. Somebody's going to see my reaction, even though, you know what I'm saying? Even though I spent all this time talking about it, there's still going to be someone. <laughs> I promise you. You know what I'm saying? Later down the line or now, whatever the situation is. But hey, it is what it is. Um... I'll see you guys in it. Because maybe that's the reason why, you know, a couple of people were saying, I can't wait for you to see the next episode, you know, because maybe people wanted to see what my response is going to be when I find out that Flint is gay. You know what I'm saying? And he, he's not gay. He's more bisexual, really. To be honest, he's bisexual. He's not gay. So let's not, let's not go there. He's bisexual. Because he's with the woman, he's with the man. So that, that's cool. Whatever. See you guys for the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought the first time you saw it. If you know what I'm saying. Hey, I'm out. <laughs>